Hello everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. We are glad to be doing this and uh, glad to be meeting online and looking into the Word of God, studying the Word of God, applying the Word of God. God's Word is so powerful. God's Word, in fact, uh, in fact um, you know, gives us faith. Uh, God's Word cleanses us, washes us, and so many wonderful things. Uh, we're really grateful to the Lord for His Word uh, to be released among us. Yes, and as disciples of the Lord Jesus, it is also a joy and privilege to walk in His way and to minister to just like the way the Lord Jesus did. In fact, He's looking to us and He says in John chapter 14, we see that uh, the Lord saying that, yes, um, the, the works that I do, they will do also, you will do also, and greater works than these. So as we minister uh, and as we share the gospel and minister, uh, uh, we do it with power, with Holy Ghost power, with the power of the Holy Spirit. And there are many ways by which healing is ministered. And one such way is through the healing anointing. Okay, when you look at the word anointing, it means the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. The presence and power of the Holy Spirit. So um, the anointing empowers a person presence and power of the Holy Spirit empowers a person, an individual, for what? To manifest the healing power of God, right? To manifest the healing power of God and in healings and, um, and miracles and so on. The anointing can also be present over a gathering, over a group of people. And we see that, the, you know, uh, in, in the way the Lord Jesus ministered, we see that the power of the Lord was present to heal them all. Uh, we see that there, there can be a healing presence and power of the Lord over a group of people, over a gathering and uh, manifesting in healing. So the Lord Jesus, whatever He did, He ministered by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right? Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, God was with him. So how did he do it? He did it by the power of the Holy Spirit. He did it by the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. Now this healing anointing is the presence of the and power of the Holy Spirit to bring about healing. Right? And as the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit to bring about healing uh, was with Jesus, because of the Holy Spirit, so also with us, because we have been baptized with the Holy Spirit and we have been filled with the Holy Spirit. And in fact, the way we walk just like Jesus did is only because of the power of the Holy Spirit. So He wants to do this. The question is, do we want to? Do we want to walk the way He did? Do we want to minister the way He did? So. The first thing we must do is to desire. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 talks about how we need to pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. And in the same way, desire the, the power and the presence of the Lord. And secondly, to expect when we pray, to expect the healing anointing uh, to be present, to expect the presence and the power of the Lord to make a change um, uh, in the and bring about healing in a person. And to desire and to expect. So today, as you have opportunity, desire healing, uh, uh, anointing from the Lord and expect the healing anointing to make a change uh, when people, when we encounter people with these conditions. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord, for the healing anointing, the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to bring about healing. And Lord, we pray that you, we thank you that you have anointed us with your Holy Spirit. You have baptized us with your Holy Spirit. And it is your desire that we do the things that you did and even greater things. So God, even as we share the gospel, even as we minister in healing, Lord, may we do so uh, with your power. And uh, I pray that you would move in power and cause bodies to be healed and minds to be set free, God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.